here at Club dot com. I want to talk about this Wands View, Wayne's View camera. Um, I just got it, Lightning deal on Amazon, and I have some problems with it. Um, and be talking about them. So here we go. All right. So here's the camera. Um, it's pretty popular, highly rated. Um, I got it as a Lightning deal. So I reviewed the Funlux camera, and there's things. I like about the phone looks camera. This camera definitely has a better picture. It, it is 1080p. Um, and it, it's definitely nice quality. And the thing, you can actually move it. You On your phone, you can actually swipe. Now, I, like, I have the iPhone. It should be the same for the Android. But you can actually swipe left, right, up, or down. And it actually moves. So you can pan view. So it's pretty nice. All right. So that's what I like about it. The picture and you can move it. Now, other than that, this thing, and it was easy to set up. Very easy. You scan the code and you can add it. You put in the, your Wi-Fi password and you, you basically can set it up within minutes. So that's the good part. The bad part is the notifications are terrible. Um, I just, it, it doesn't have typical push notification. Like the thing I like about the Funlux, it'll save... Uh, uh, basically one to two days worth of notifications picture and video well I think actually now it's it, it's strictly video so it's strictly video of like maybe like 10 seconds 10 to 20 seconds and it saves it for free and then after a certain amount it'll delete it but you can go in there if it's actually one you want to keep you can go in there and save it to your phone so it's very convenient. Now this thing is a complete a complete pain in the butt to set up. It only sends email notifications and they're pictures. So they're just pictures, right? And so there's no video. Um, it takes good pictures, but there's no video. And it was such a pain to set this thing up um, for to your email. Like the email, I guess, is the the easiest route. Um, there's like the FTP. I'm even gonna bother with that. But I want to go through how to set this thing up through your um, through your email. So, all right. So here we are. I set up the motion email triggered, right? And now it's like going crazy. The sensitivity I have it on full blast, so I could probably turn that down a little bit. But I wanted something that that would pick up motion. But this is probably a little bit too much because nothing's really happening. Um, you can change that on this camera. But to set up the email notification, it's actually pretty tricky. It's not like your typical, you put in your email address and you're good. Um, so you first have to go into your Google account. So here I am, the Gadget Guru Club Gmail account. And you want to click on your icon up here right and then you click on the account blue button right so once you do that it'll take you here right so you want to click on signing into Google and you make sure that you have because you're gonna need an app password right so basically you're using an app and you don't want to put in your normal Google Gmail account password. You want to make one specific for apps only so you don't, so you basically have two passwords to access your account. So, first, before you can generate an app password, first you have to turn on two step verification. So, you turn on two step verification and it'll send you like a text message, a phone call, whatever you want to do. So, you turn that on, right? And then you can create an app password. So, you click that to create an app password. Um, so you could do this, right? I'll just go put in the password. Um, all right, so you, you can do it for mail, and then you do whatever phone. So I have an iPhone, and then you click generate, right? So you generate that password, right? And then the next step is to put in the information on your phone. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Also, I want to mention a very important step didn't mention last. Um, 
you want to click this gear icon, go into settings, right? And then from settings, you go to forwarding pop slash IMAP. You want to enable IMAP. If you don't do that, the it won't work as far as accessing it through your app. So all right, so now we can go to the app and show how to access it through the app. Make sure you save though before you're done. All right, so you go into the alarm settings on your phone. So you can adjust the sensitivity, and you know you have to turn on the motion, right? So you can save it a picture as an email, so it'll send you a nice picture to your email. All right, so the email server you put in your Gmail account name, so and then the SMTP server you put SMTP.gmail.com, right? The port 465 SSL. And then you want to put the email, whatever Gmail account you want to send it to. And then you put in the generated app password that you made on Gmail. Right? So the port 465 SSL, put in whatever email you want to send it to. It can be the same as the email that you're using above. You know, you send and receive basically from there. And then you put in the 16-digit generated password and then the receiving password. So it's all the same for me. And then that's that. You do a test email and it should work. Um, mine took a little bit, but if you do all these steps, it should work. Also, I want to mention, I don't know if you guys caught it before, but it's the, the Wands, Wayne's View app. You just search Wands View in the App Store. But basically, any type of security camera you're setting up, this is basically how you would generate the password and then log into it. So it's not just this specifically, but that's what this app is called for this camera. Also wanted to mention, it wasn't just email. Um, you can actually save pictures to, it has it to FTP, save a record to FTP, or an SD, like a SanDisk. Um, I personally don't want to do that, so email was a specific route that I went. Some people may say, oh, there's other things you can do to, to save the video. It's not like it can't save the video, but I don't want to, I want the easiest route possible, so I don't really want to have to buy that. Um, but, you know, some people may. But like I said, with the Funlux, I don't need anything extra. It records the video. It's not that long, but it still records it. 